Hello guys, today I want to show you another entry in the PVS DIY family. This is the PVS Gremlin. Um, it is the third uh, DIY thermal monocular I was building and I have, by now I, I started with the PVS 420 um, then came the PVS 840, the thermal binocular, then there was the PVS Nachtmar and now this is the PVR Gremlin. Um, yeah, let's start. The Gremlin is very compact. So far it is the most compact mo um, thermal monocular I built. Uh, it is very sturdy. This is printed in ASA uh, carbon fiber filament. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I know a lot of people say, yeah, carbon fiber is dangerous. You should not inhale like the fibers or anything else. But I can't help it. It just looks freaking amazing. So in the PVS Gremlin, um, this is the first time we're using uh, 18350 lithium ion batteries. And if you remember in the PVS um, 420, you needed to modify an 8650 with this stencil because the minus pole of the battery was um, contacted on the side so you needed to cut a little uh, window in the foil covering the cell. This time I didn't do that. This time I actually went for the real deal if you can name it that way. So like in expensive commercially available um, thermal devices you have a metal plate in the back cap and a contact area here and the spring loaded contact at the bottom so when you close up the cap the pin on the side contacts the metal plate and closes the circuit for the battery. This is an 8350 a protected cell um, there's no internal BMS in the device so you need to use batteries with included BMS battery protection you can still use uh, them without them it does work but of course it is not protected and it will run dry until it is below the minimal voltage and that's not healthy so just like a regular device spring loaded and you can close it up nicely it has a nice little TPU lanyard so you're not losing the cap also very common um, the button this time compared to the PVS Nachtma or PVS 840 binocular I made it really big and nice and easy to press it's a big big button the other ones you needed to press pretty hard to turn it on and off this time it is very easy and soft because of the big area of the button. On the top we have the um, thread for helm mount, so you can helm mount it. As usual, um, we also have a DC in check right here, so you can actually like connect it to an external battery and run this off the external battery indefinitely like on a helmet mount most likely batteries on the back as a counterweight um, of course the 8350 battery will not last as long as a full size 18650 but with that you have the option to run it from an external power supply in here we have a 640 core thermal core um, with a nice protection also TPU you can like Put it either side, however you want it to. Let's switch it on. So, on the front we have a uh, MP18 lens, 18 times magnification, because we're a little bit close, and it's not in focus. The focus you can adjust as usual with the front ring on the go, and on the bottom side we have the controls. So we have zoom, 
color palettes and also a little navigation switch you can change brightness left right and even so flip the picture upside down so the display driver board for this um, 0 0.39 inch micro display features um, vertical uh, flip switch when you keep it pressing uh, you keep the, uh, the the joystick pressed for longer than two seconds in one direction it switches side maybe I can I'm not sure if I will get that right now in front of camera let's see it either is going to change color or it's gonna flip the picture ah yeah there you go now it flipped the picture and once more and it's going back same up and down and brightness up down and you can also change color palettes to normal black hot then a green filter and the blue wish filter that's more like looking like um, gen 3 phosphorus tubes uh, then we have zoom and the color palettes black white uh, black hot white hot and the different different scene modes and of course the outline mode yeah it's not easy to show on camera but you get the idea that's pretty much it nice big button easy to press and close it up um, the back is screwed in with a 3D printed thread. It is pretty easy to take it out. I'm not gonna do it now, but it is kind of easy. Then you have direct access to the display in the back. That's just like inserted and loose, but it's not going anywhere as long as the, the lens, the eyepiece is screwed in. And if you want to update the software, it is kind of easy to access because right when you take out the display, you can put it to the side and right behind is the ESP32. You can like take out softly with the wires connected and update if you ever want to update the functions because you can, of course, uh, change um, the software if you need it. The SDK with the, all the UART commands if you need something different, you can of course then um, connect to the available buttons and use those functions. And yes, I'm super proud, it's very compact, it is very small, very lightweight. It is small and it, feels, it has that valuable weight to it because the lens, it's metal, the camera, the battery. Uh, very proud of it, really turned out amazingly. And yeah, that is the PVS Gremlin. The files are already up on my printables page. I will link below. Uh, part list and in detail pictures will come up as well. I have to say this is a very advanced build. There is very limited space in here. So if you, if you start building this with wires too thick, you will have a terrible time. The only thicker wires I used were for the battery and the DC jack and the rest pretty much from the display very thin wires as well from the thermal camera inside and the rest I used uh, very thin 0 0.30 lack of wire yeah you can't even probably see it on camera because it's so thin but yeah very advanced build really if if you're not know what you're doing i would like suggest like building the pvs for 20. there's a little bit more room inside the nachtma is also pretty packed and the 840 is all i mean they all require nice cable management if you want to have a nice time building this so that's it with the pvs gremlin my newest addition to the family thanks for watching have fun building it once all the infos and part lists are up. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, and yeah, Merry Christmas.